one of the great television motion picture vaudeville icons of all times in fact he invented television uh here are some shots of milton and drag and some of the people he knew some of the gangsters you know milton was a gambler he loved to go to the track and he loved to win so he bought tickets for almost every horse and every combination uh stories in the book about the mob influence of show business it's something that was unavoidable then by the way you can pause at any time take a better look at the pictures and read the material which comes from the book my father uncle milty that i wrote with billy burl um, one of the interesting things is the mob owned everything so you had to play along oh here are some of milton's girlfriends and he had plenty he was linked with so many women and of course you probably heard the stories about milton's very very large member and how he was notorious and extremely well known with the ladies and he wasn't shy about displaying it over the years. And there are many stories about that as well. And a bet in the Hillcrest Country Club with Chico Marx about the size of it, actually. And Billy reports there's a plaster cast of it still somewhere. Anyway, he really, really invented television. Without Milton Berle's show, Texaco Star Theater, there probably would not have been television as we know it today. And you know something, Milton was the director, the writer, the producer, the lighting guy. He did everything. When he got older and appeared in places, oh, like when he was on Saturday Night Live, it was tough for some of the performers to accept someone with Milton's ego. And the fact that he's think, well, he sort of did know a great deal. I mean, he just didn't think that he knew it. Uh, here are some more performers that were around from his day and, and more information about his playboy image and the people he dated and run-ins with people who were also dating the same women. Um, the story is detailed and also a very insider's look, thanks to Billy. Um, Milton's biggest success, of course, was the TV show. In fact, he was paid a great deal of money not to work on television by NBC. He had a lifelong contract, which he eventually got out of because he did a show on ABC, which I believe was in the 70s. But he'll never be forgotten for that contribution. By the way, if you want more information on this, go to BradleyLewis.org, BradleyLewis.com. Also has information about more of my books, but there's a lot on Milton and BradleyLewis.org. Um, the Texaco Star Theater, enough can't be said about it. Um, the book is filled with uh, jokes and anecdotes and uh, insight into his personal life and his family life. And it truly, truly uh, presents him for who he was, which is probably the greatest comedy icon of the 20th century. Uh, Milton lived to a ripe old age uh, in his early 90s. Um, he had a new wife. Um, I hope you enjoyed listening to this. Like I said, there's a lot more information at BradleyLewis.org. Um, I hope you stopped and paused and looked around and looked at the list of movies that Milton appeared in, to say nothing of the famous television show. And he remained throughout his life 